everyone, Emily here. Today I want to show you how to draw a cat. So I've got a video on a, a few kittens and a cat, but I want to do just a cat's face. I thought it might be quite fun. So you want to have a pencil, paper, landscape, and you want to make sure that you're maybe using chalks. If you don't have chalks, you could use paint or oil pastel. And make sure you've got something to colour it in, because it's going to look super cool. So all you need to do is, on your big piece of paper, I want to do a shape, a bit like that. So it's almost like, um, I always start off with shapes similar to a jacket potato. Mm. <laughs> it's nearly lunchtime for me and I'm just like, oh, I wouldn't find a jacket potato. So once we've done that shape, we're going to do two little lines, come, well, a line coming out there and a line coming out there. And if you think about an ice cream, it reminds me of that because the ears do a line there and kind of like a line there. And then you're going to make his ears. So you're going to do... They're not that pointy, if I'm honest, but to make it look like a cat, you could maybe do them pointier if you like. That one's a bit bigger than that one, and that is okay. You could do a line in like that, a line in like that. Okay, so now the nose. So think about the nose. You're going to do like a little triangly bit there. So just find the bottom of that circle, and you're doing a triangly bit there, and then you're going to create the nose so it's like a triangle the nose then you're going to do two little bits going there and then a little line so when we color it in it will make more sense but you know how a cat's got like these lines you're going to do kind of like the lines going up and then we, this is where we want to do the the eyes so we're going to go up 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 round up 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 around so it's almost like you're drawing the eyes already can you see my nose is there goes up and then it goes around cats have big eyes um obviously they're maybe not this big but i'm gonna draw big eyes because it's almost like a cartoon so we're gonna go one two try and make sure they're similar they're not exactly the same it doesn't matter but we want to go mine's gonna be like a tortoiseshell tabby because that's what i had when i was small I love them. So we're just going to do those little lines around it. You might look a bit tired, but the, when we start to colour it in, it won't do. And then we want to do little, little lines. Little lines. Because if you think about it, you know a cat, when it walks through a door, it fills with its whiskers. They're super long, the whiskers. So we haven't shaped the face just yet, so we won't draw the whiskers in. But what I want to do is at the bottom of the triangle, just draw this shape because we're going to create the shape of the face now. Because once you've drawn that shape, you're going to take a bit of that shape and you're almost going to, I've done it super subtly, which means not kind of too obvious, but it, I've tried to create a triangle. So I'll rub this bit out so you can see. I'm just rubbing out the line that creates the tri Can you see it's more of a triangle now? It's like it's going like that and it's no longer a circle. That is what you want. In the ear, that'd be kind of cool to do some hair. Then the body. My cat's just going to be, it's a bit like, like a sphinx in um, the Egyptian times. Like the cat stands tall and it's got big eyes, big ears. It's very thin. So we're going to do just a line like that, just a line like that. So he's just sort of like sitting up. You can't see all of his body. And what I want to do is just kind of have a bit of fun making the tortoiseshell pattern. Because it doesn't matter how you do it. You can just do it how, your way. It doesn't matter. You probably wouldn't see the, um, the tail because he's kind of got it behind him. But do some little lines. So take your time doing this. I'm just doing it fast so you can see. Then now you can do the whiskers. Think about long whiskers. No, they look really cool, the whiskers. Now the eyes, if you think about a cat's eyes, they're quite almond shape. But then they've got a beautiful color inside. So if you just go round, it looks really strange, don't worry, it's all, about, all in the colouring. So what I'm going to do now is 
I'd say, okay, that's my cat. What I wouldn't mind drawing, actually, if I'm honest, is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get chalk pastel. I kind of, I've done this thing recently where it was an ink splodge. So I had to draw an ink splodge. So I'm going to try and kind of recreate that by just going oh, around the cat because I want to colour it, the background, in that colour. So you could do that first, or you could do the cat first and then the background, but I'm going to do the background just because it's out of the way then, and I won't affect the cut, the cat when I colour it in. Okay, so that's my background just for now, and I'm going to smudge away. And it's not that dark, is it? It's just kind of a light background. I like this colour because it's like fluorescent. You can find any colour that's bright. A yellow is quite nice, isn't it? It makes things stand out. Okay, now I'm going to try the tabby tortoise shell colours. So I'm going to go with a dark brown. I'm going to go with like a brick kind of brown. And I'm going to go possibly with an orangey yellow for the eyes. I can't even remember what colours they would be. Normally they're colours, aren't they? Normally they're um, a blue or a red. But I quite like the idea of doing that. I'm just going to have a little look at what the colour is that I'm copying from, because it's probably very different, actually. Where's my little cat picture? If you've got a cat, maybe you can go and have a look. All okay. oh, right, it's not yellow. Ooh, interesting. Hmm, it's yellow, but then it could be greeny around the edges. So I'm going to put a bit of green because it's kind of a gorgeous greeny yellow thing. It hasn't really got a bobble. It's kind of like the black stands out and the rest is just really colourful. That might look kind of cool. We can outline it, so don't worry if you think, oh, looks a bit strange. Um, so what we want to do is think about... I kind of feel like it should be more green. I think it's because I was thinking of a, a tiger. Which I guess is similar, isn't it? Okay, so there's your eyes for now. We'll go over those, so don't panic if you think, ooh. One brown for the nose. So we're going to get a brick brown. Just do that. And what I'd like to do is at the bottom of him, might do that. And what it is, is we've got the dark brown. Do you know what? It's black. Oof, I didn't realise. Right, what we could do then is if we rub out these lines, because there's a few lines I've only just noticed, and I think that's why it looks a bit like an alien. <laughs> It really does. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. That's that looks perfect now, doesn't it? Of course. Okay. Let's give it a go. Trial and error. Right. We're gonna colour this. This is black actually, so I'm gonna go round it. Mistake number four. <laughs> I think it's because I'm trying to copy. Right. The bits that are white are the around the eyes. So let's not do those. The nose is quite dark there, and then you kind of got, so I'll probably, if you can see actually, I'm kind of super colouring it all in almost. Yeah, well, there we are, I ended up colouring it in. So I've used my dark brown for this one. Now we can smudge it a little bit. You don't need to smudge it too much there. Make sure you keep white for the um, this bit because it tends to be quite white there and some of the ears inside is white. So now we're going to take our beautiful black. Right, this is what I want to try and do. I'm going to outline the eye. Mm, that looks kind of cool. And it's kind of got these teardrop things, so just add those in. It's time to, to outline the nose. And I would say you've got some gappy bits there. Whew, okay. 
Right, now is for the black bit. So do a couple of whiskers. You want to outline the nose. You see it's starting to take shape now, the face. It's a bit tricky to see. I'm kind of trying to outline. All oh, this is black. So basically most of these stripes are going to be black. Just outline there. So pause the video any time. I'm going quite fast. But you want to subscribe, like and share if this helps you. Because sometimes it's quite tricky to draw a cat, I think. So all I'm doing now is I was outlining. So I would say my cat looks quite good. I quite like him. I wanted to buy a cat. I called a cat once that I owned, Bumble Lion. It actually looked like this. It was cute. But I don't know if I'll get another cat. Some people are allergic to cats and I used to be as I grew up. It's funny, isn't it? I never was when I was small. Okay. Right, now we want to get a white. Let's get the white. You want to kind of make that bit stand out. And then round the eyes. So you can add the, um, the thing about chalk is you can start adding the hair in. I don't know if you can see it on this. Hopefully you can. It's when you start adding texture in. You see, if I've done it in white and black, it shows up quite cool. I would like to do white in the eyes. Now, you might be better off doing paint for this. I'm just going to have a go. I've got white paint on my finger, but get a brush if you can. I don't know if it will stick. But that's it. I need the eyes to look shiny. So I've put white in there. I have to go white there as well. Because it doesn't show up otherwise. There we are. I'll finish with the white because I don't really need to add too much to be fair. If you wanted to add paint over the top, it might be a bit messy, but you could give it a go. Um, I would actually also add a bit of white. Probably there. Because it's quite nice that he's got this fluffy chin. Looks a bit strange on here actually, hang on. There we go. Got a super fluffy chin now, hasn't it? <laughs> but ultimately you need to make sure he's got a little bit of a chin. You can go over there if you like. So that is literally my cat. I'm gonna go over around just so it's a bit more neater. Have a go at doing it. You can even do more to your background if you like. You can add more bits. I love putting white on things because it makes it look really cool. I would also go around again, but with a darker colour to complement. You've got to be a bit careful because all the black might smudge. But it's to complement the colour you've already got. So this is a darker version of the luminous one, really. It's a red. You might want to do that. Maybe when it's when you've smudged uh, smudged everything else and you've sprayed it. Ta da! That's my cat. So you can maybe sign it, sign your name, do it as a present. If someone owns a pet, you can give it to them as a present. So you want to sign your name, subscribe, like, and share the video, and send me in your pictures. Let me know how you get on. I'd love to see your cats, and I shall speak to you very soon. Mm -hmm.